Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of the WASD Editor Camera being made by FW Industries, and oh my, I think that this very well may be one of the most wonderful mods I've seen in a very, very long time. And that's because it fixes what I have seen as one of this game's biggest issues for an even longer amount of time, and that's the fact that the camera controls in the vehicle assembly building and space plane hangar are kinda crap. All you can do is orbit around your craft and zoom in and out. That's... Uh, it's, it's not a great method of controlling your camera, especially when you're trying to build a ship that's very intricate or very, very small, because it can be a real pain to get a, a purely orbital camera into just the right position that you need it to do those sort of fine detailings of putting your parts in just the right spot. And so it's it's been a pain, and I've always wanted a solution to that, and that's what this mod does. It adds into the game the ability for you to toggle between the standard orbital camera and a new free camera mode that uses FPS controls. So let's take a look at it in the space plane hangar because it's just simply glorious. And rather than grabbing a command pod like we normally do, let's actually grab a Steerwing A300 as this will help sort of demonstrate some of the issues with the old camera and how it's a lot better with the new one. And one thing I need to point out right off the bat is that if you have this mod installed, it defaults to the new free camera. So if you want to be in the old orbital camera, you have to activate it or toggle back to it by using five. And there you go, we, you see on there it popped up that we switch back to stock camera, and now we can orbit around this thing, zoom in and out as you always do. And uh, yeah, the biggest issue I've always had, as I said, is to get the camera into the right spot. So say if you wanted to build some intricate thing on the tail end of this plane, well, you'd have to either you know, sort of work your camera into just the right spot doing this, or what a lot of people that I know end up doing is actually moving the entire ship, then moving the camera so you have slightly more options of how to actually get to the back end of the craft, and it's, it's just a pain. And if, say, you're wanting to edit something in one of these cargo bays, you know, you've got to wait for it to open the animation, which, of course, I always love the animations, and then try and zoom in to just the right spot and deal with having any overlapping parts to actually put what you want into the cargo bay. But if we toggle back using 5, well, now we're in a free camera mode and we can do whatever we want with the camera. We can go all around the aircraft, go above it, go below it, go inside of it, whatever you need. So now, instead of having to deal with a kind of a poor camera system, I can put the camera where I want and then go, oh yeah, you know what, I think I needed a bit of a thermometer here, a nice little atmosphere's fluid spectrometer there, and you can put it all exactly where you need, down to the finest detail and get really close or, you know, zoom out as far as you can, etc. And you can put the camera just anywhere and everywhere you need it to be to build exactly what you want. And of course, if you always get bored, you can go down and visit the Kerbals. Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing? Playing with your tools, I see. Excellent. Good work. Keep it up. And then return to the building of your spacecraft. And it's just glorious. I love it. And you can basically move anywhere you want to within the confines of the build area. So if we try and leave, nope, we get hit by an invisible wall right here. And same thing over on this side here. We hit an invisible wall just about this line. And yeah, so anywhere within these extents, you can move to. And that is just glorious. Now, as to how you do control this camera, once again, you use 5 to toggle back and forth between the camera modes, and you use W, A, S, and D to move forward, back, left, right, etc. To tilt and pivot the camera, you hold down right mouse button and move the camera to where you need it to be, whether you're stationary or, of course, moving. You just sort of fly around to your heart's content. 
Now you also have Q and E. Q lowers you, E raises you up, and finally we have shift and spacebar. Now these affect the speed of the camera. So if say, let's move back down to the plane. If we move from the tail end of the plane to the nose end, that's how long it took. Not too long, just, uh, you know, two, three seconds or so. Now, if we wanted to go more slowly because we wanted to fine-tune the camera, you can hold down shift while you move, and you move much slower that way, and that allows you to get to the camera, you know, give you a little bit more control. You're not sort of flying around randomly. You can really get it into where you need it to be exactly, and then do what you need to do. Now, finally, you have space bar, which makes the camera go even faster. So if you need to get from one end of the space plane hangar to the other, you just hold down space bar and fly around quite quickly. And it's glorious. Now, as for other features, you can change the keys, but it does require you to go into a config file. So you will have to do that if you don't like these keys, but I mean, they're pretty standard FPS keys, so I think most people will be fine with them. But yes, if you do want to change them, you have to deal with a config file in the folder. Uh, as for additional features, you can also move with parts. So say if we want this Mark II adapter, and uh, you know, normally if we wanted to put it on the other side of the craft, you know, you might just place it there, move to the other side of the aircraft, then grab it again and then boom click it on but with this mod you can click hold down right mouse button and you can actually move with the part it's a it's a nice little extra feature that you have so you don't have to worry about you know leaving a part on the other side of the space plane hanger and then you notice while you're over here oh crap i need that part okay i've got to go back no nope, no nope, you can just click or well <laughs> click and hold there we go hold up oh, nope there we go, excellent. I kept clicking the wrong mouse button. That's smart, there we are. Just click and hold down right mouse button and you can move around with it to your heart's content and then place it where it needs to be. Excellent. Now, as to some of the issues with this mod, Honestly, I've only found two issues so far, and the first of which is in regards to our little invisible barriers that we have over here and our, uh, holding down of these parts. So if we travel with this part over here, uh, you'll notice, uh, oh god, no, actually I need to click a bit further away. Hold on, hold on. There we go. You'll notice that the part can go through the wall there. That isn't a problem as long as you bring the part back out. But if you let go of the part on the other side of the wall, oh, you can't get it back. It's it's stuck out there and all on its own. So that is that is a small issue. Not a huge issue, though. You can always hit undo or, you know, perhaps just start a new craft or open if you've saved recently. Uh, but yeah, you, you should never leave your parts on the other, other side of a wall. That That's just poor form. And then one of these Kerbals is gonna have to pick it up later. It's just it's just a mess for all involved now the other big issue that I have with it uh, Which honestly I don't see as a too big of an issue because you can toggle back and forth between your camera modes But if say we want to toggle back to the orbital camera and we're back here. We hit five well we we're orbiting around this central point. There's apparently, according to the known issues on the mod forum page, uh, there's no, uh, oh god, which, what is, what is it, horizontal offset for the camera in the code for it. So wherever we place our camera, that is where we now do our stock orbital deal. So if you do want to actually orbit around your craft itself, you need to move yourself back into a position where you can do so then hit the stock camera switch and there we go we're back to a normal norm uh, normal no no normal orbital camera there we are and yes then you can just you know do what you normally do in the game i don't see it as a huge issue though because we can just toggle back and move around and then you know do orbiting wherever we want we could orbit around the tail for all you know if that's what you really want to do there it's it's your choice uh, but yes, thanks to the toggling, I don't really see it as an issue, but you know, if you ever do have an odd moment where you toggle here and go, oh god, why am I orbiting around this central point? Well, that that is why. Just toggle back to the free mode and then get yourself into position. 
Uh, other than that, there apparently are like a few other minor issues, but they seem to be related to uh, the coding uh, on the forum. They they shouldn't really affect your actual playing of the game here, or well, the or usage of this camera mode for construction. Uh, but you know, even with any of these minor issues, this camera is more than worth it because it just it offers so many opportunities. You can build from anywhere you want. You can put the camera exactly where you want it to be and then build whatever you need to be at that point. It is a glorious. And if you would like to check out this camera mod for yourself, you can take a look at the links in the description as always. And I really do hope you check it out because it, oh my God, it's beautiful. It is, I think this is definitely going to make it into my permanent mod list. I've got a small little list of mods that I cannot play this game without. And this, this is definitely making the cut. It is just too wonderful to not have in your game. So go download it, have some fun building with a free camera, and uh, enjoy yourselves. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and of course that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always... Have a good one.